Hello and welcome to Friday's Reflections. I hope you're keeping warm on this grey, chilly day. I don't think we've seen the sun today, but it was out yesterday and there was such a beautiful sunrise yesterday. I was walking to um, up to church. We had a, a prayer walk, so uh, it was about, I don't know, 10 to 8, something like that. And um, the sun was rising and I, I heard the parakeets and then I looked up and they were coming from their roost. And I think, I'm not sure, but I think they roost at Stanborough. And there was, in the first wave, there was about a hundred or so of them. And I've never seen them in that, 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 that big a number. Um, and they just flew over and the light caught their brilliant green. And it was just a joyful moment in the midst of the cold. It was very icy yesterday morning. Uh, the cold winter, there was this brilliant iridescent green and then shortly after another another wave and another wave and all in all about 300 of them and I just marveled at the way they they reflected the light and that made me think of, of last weekend when I had Soph and the children and how much the children love light and I guess how much we all love love light and uh, um they arrived on Friday and um, they came in with all their bags and lots of excitement and we had everything down and we just literally got the, the bags through, through the door um, when Ophie came in with a mouse. And Ophelia is very good at catching mice, but she doesn't really know what to do with them. She's a bit like a Labrador. She holds them very gently and then just puts them down. So anyway, the children were quite excited. So... Uh, um, Elise was squealing with joy and Shaquille was running around and this little mouse was in the corner. So I went to get it. I got quite good at saving mice. I went to go with the glass, just cover it up. And it shot away from me. And um, it passed a bag with, and there were two advent calendars, the ones that you get chocolates out of. And um, I suppose those are all the advent calendars today. Um, and it shot, shot, past those and I said to Sophie did you see it she said no it hasn't come past them and we looked we moved things we couldn't see it Ophie was looking everywhere and I thought well I know it weren't there they must be there and one of the advent calendars wasn't the usual one where you have the little doors it had 24 chocolates but at the bottom it had this little gap and, and you push this plastic bit in the wheel and turned and the chocolate dropped down and the little mouse had got into it and somehow the, the weight of his little body had pushed it and he was jammed in the advent calendar so he managed to release him in the garden and he was absolutely fine he ran off much to Shaquille's delight so that was um a moment of hilarity uh, Ophie wasn't so pleased so she spent the next half an hour still looking for, for the mouse she could never quite understand that I, I get them and I set them free even though she's seen me do it so many times and on Saturday we um we went for this lovely walk we walked um down to Tewinbury first and had coffee the children had hot chocolate and um and just sat outside and, and it was very cold but we were well wrapped up and we were just watching the um watching the river and the movement of that beautiful little river and there was an egret and a heron and it was just lovely and we walked across to Chewin and um and had lunch this lunch there and then walked back we didn't get back until about I don't know maybe four but what the children love is when all the lights are are on and they love looking at all the houses and it's quite a thing, even if we'd been in all day, we'd go out and look at the lights. And I think quite a lot of people do that. And it just really makes me think how important light is to all of us. But the children particularly love it. And the baby, Maya, is only five months, but she absolutely loved just staring at all these different lights. We got her out of her, her little pram and just held her up so she could get a really good view. And it just made me think how... How light is so important, isn't it? Light is life-giving, really, isn't it? Maybe you think that the first words that God spoke were, let there be light. And um, and it's it's really with that in mind that I want to share with you um, the scripture. And the scripture that I'd like to share with you is very short. It's from the Gospel of John, and it's chapter 8, and it's verse 12. Um, 
Yeah, just verse 12. Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. I'll read that again. Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And I think that's just such a beautiful image, the light of the world. And I was just thinking today, you know, still preparing for Christmas and stuff, but keeping an eye on the news, just how dark um, some places in the world are at the moment. I was thinking about Palestine and and Israel, and I was thinking about Ukraine and Russia and uh, Yemen, Syria, and many other conflicts, and um, and how much we're in need of light. And do you know what I love the most? I love that Jesus didn't say, I am the light of Christians. He said, I am the light of the world. Jesus came for everyone, for absolutely everyone. So whoever calls on his name can know him and have a relationship with him. I just find that so fantastic. And that's that's really all I want to share with you this week. And I think it can be really easy. We We love light don't we? And we can be drawn to kind of uh, fake lights. I mean, the, the Christmas lights are lovely, aren't they? But they're, they're just electricity. They're, they're beautiful at Christmas, but we take them down and forget about them for a year. But Jesus is a light that never goes out. Jesus is that amazing light that no matter what you're going through, no matter where you are, that light is there with you because he's promised never to leave us or forsake us. And I think it's so easy to look for for light in the wrong place when actually the place it's found is in is in Jesus himself so that's my those are my thoughts that I wanted to share with you today but I was just fascinated by how how we are so drawn towards light and even if you, if you think about creation and the way plants will turn to the light I, I just love that as an image and you know all of us who turn to Jesus um will be saved and and uh, and have eternal life and I don't know about you but um I think eternal life is just the most wonderful thought actually um a time when there'll be no more wars no more pain no more tears no more suffering um just joy absolute joy uh, the joy of knowing Jesus and of course then We'll know him fully and that will be absolutely amazing. So I'm going to end in prayer now. Please do join in with a loud amen when I come to the end of the prayer. Lord, thank you so much for your many names. But the one I want to thank you for today is that you are the light of the world. Lord, help people to be drawn to, to the true light of the world, you, Jesus Christ. The true light that dispels darkness. And sustains life. Eternal life. Help those people, those of us who know you to shine for you. And to just point people to you, Lord. This Christmas we ask that you would meet the people all over the world, but particularly in those dark and hopeless situations that there seem to be so many of. And may many turn to you, Lord, and not look back. I don't know what you're doing this weekend. I'm off to Luton. I've got another weekend with my grandchildren. This time I'm going to their their home. So I'm really looking forward to um, to that. Shaquille's um, singing carols tomorrow afternoon at, at Luton Airport. He's in the choir at school. So they've got um, a lovely afternoon. They're doing all those lovely Christmassy things. That, um, 
that, that brings such joy. So I'm really looking forward to my weekend. I'll go to um, uh, a church that's um, near my daughter's that I've been to before because it's lovely to have um, a, a place to worship at when you when you go away and so it'll be really lovely to go back there had a really nice welcome the last time I went so I don't know what you're doing this weekend but if you can join us um I won't be there but if you can join our, our fellowship at Pang's Hangar please do it's uh, the service is at 10 o'clock um or there's community carols which is a wonderful um gathering where the schools join us and people from the community and it's a lovely lovely service that's at four o'clock so um so please if you can do join those or or if you can't if you're not in well in garden city just visit a church somewhere google one uh or, or read your bible or look a scripture up online but just remember that um jesus is known as the light of the world and he came to draw all people to himself. He came to save, not to judge. So whatever you're doing, have a great weekend. And I look forward to sharing with you next week. See you then. Thank you.